he said, I was asking about, he had uh, Keith in his pool. Keith was the battle for first seed, so I asked him uh, his record with Keith. He said, yeah, Keith beat me my second tournament ever. December 2014. This kid started pretty much in 2015. This is, he's played about a year. That Jeez. is so messed up. That's ridiculous. Like, the Has rate it really been only a year? Holy crap. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think... I think he played some friendlies before that, but he was going to tournaments for a year at this point. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And I think what he did before that is he played some net play, which... Still, that is very yeah, yeah. impressive. The, he's he probably a top ten in the entire Northwest, or at least Oregon, Washington, Northwest. I, I think he, he can do well against the BC players. He beat yeah, Sion. He might be top ten for all of the Northwest in about a year. That's... Remarkable. How long has Steven been playing at this point? I think Steven's been playing since only 2014. Yeah, two years. years. Wow. We're frauds, dude. I know. You were just thinking about that. I've been playing for like six years. I'm getting destroyed by Steven and eBay. I've been playing for almost four. And I also get destroyed by both of those players. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> this game's way too hard. You win. <laughs> So, Bart is going Ten Marth, years correct? is actually a really long time. Bart is going... Can you see Marth Fox? How long has Bart been playing? Bart has been playing the longest. Bart, how long have you been playing? He said okay. <laughs> how long have you been playing? <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Too long, yeah. Bart he was one of the of original Oregon past. players. I saw him on the first PR. Yeah. I was uh, had, like trees and falcons taunting. Like, what... Oregon <laughs> trees, I get it. That was an amazing oh. read on the, with the stomp. That pivot was so good. Oh my the god. Pivot. Oh no, oh. the technology. What? Jesus, who is Jesus. this guy? Alright, Bart has been practicing. I don't know what he, where he's been. He's probably been playing with good players. He's having to punish this hard. <laughs> I heard he just came out of a PM match. <laughs> I'm just joking. I hope, I hope that's not true. Bart, your best right after your plea. I'd be so disappointing to find out. <laughs> no, but this guy's uh this, Bart has always been saying this is like his favorite stage with Falcon also. For I mean I think it's actually for good reason. I mean like I don't think Falcon's really that bad, but a certain style of Falcon where you just dash dance a lot I think is bad on this stage. Uh yeah. I agree. Um I think the reason that it's considered bad, not just the dash dancing, but a lot of people just get frustrated when their combos don't work out from the platforms. Yeah, they have to kind of switch up their game plan based on the height of the platforms, and they might yeah. not be that good. Um, there's some players that work with the stage very effectively and <coughs> get amazing punish games because of it. Yeah. But the thing is, like, for Falcon, the blast zones are... F like, he doesn't get killed off the top very easily on the stage. So... Yeah, and also, one thing to note, Bart's doing well, and he's beating Jordova, but I would say... Jordova was playing really well earlier too. Like, oh yeah, both these players are playing great, and that's just emphasized. Bart with a lead like he does, it's particularly impressive. Uh, and uh, I might be hopping off, so I have tournaments. Oh my! I'm gonna go lose in some dark corner. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, Get him. Good luck, players, especially Bart doing swag stuff. <laughs> That was a good falling up there from Jordova. Cool. Uh, he's pointing at things. Oh, oh. phone. I just reached it. I got it. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. Oh my God. Bard is still pretty well in control of this match. Yeah, Bard is doing really great actually. And Jordan is a he's a solid fox, I would say. Yeah, he's he's definitely pretty solid. But like, I Bard talks about how this is his favorite stage a lot as Falcon. So. Yeah, and you know that's a really good thing to have as your favorite stage. Just be like, you know, this is my biggest weakness as Falcon. Or like my biggest stage weakness anyway, and like I'll turn it into my my strength. Yeah, that's amazing to have because then a lot of people will take you here, and it's your favorite stage, yep. and you have your movement down. But there's a couple of falcons that are like that, and they're like, all right, you know, sure, go ahead, counterpick me to fountain, see what happens. Yeah. 
But I hear, uh, I heard Jordan. He practices a lot of tech skill from mm -hmm. uh, from what I hear. And it seems like what like the only thing is like really lacking at this point is like just the multitude of experience and matchups and just mind games. Yeah, and he ha he has some of that, and it's it's weird. Like for a long time, he's been like just under you know that level of like the top players, like the PR players. He's always sort of been there, like just in the shadows, but he's always been pretty solid. Yeah, that's what it really seems like to me that he's just he's almost at that level. Yeah, he's, he's getting close. And this is he's been breaking out recently. Like he did he did really well at I think it was it drop zone, maybe was it drop zone or maybe it was uh, midnight melee in Corvallis. I don't no he wasn't at that. I don't but he has been doing much better at tournaments recently. So yeah, like honestly, like it's it's noticeable by like more than just like I guess like the people who know him. Because I even noticed. I just was just kind of like watching him play on stream, and I was like, "Wow, he's doing like yeah, much, even right like now. noticeably oh. better." <laughs> he almost brought that back, and then he just yeah. took it back here. <laughs> One zero right now for balloon. I'm not over to change the score, so that's not that's not gonna happen. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not getting up and climbing over crap no. again. <laughs> climbing over cores and stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. Bar has a Marth, so like he has like basically all the stages covered with his two characters. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a really great combination to have. Yeah. Uh, Marth and a Falcon, because Marth is like your high tier that can beat like any other character. He can beat the spaces, and then Falcon can beat a lot of like the mid low tiers. I, it's, it's it's it is a pretty good combo. I think the only real weakness is Sheik. Yeah. I think, so. And which is like, it's a matchup that both characters can deal with if, if they absolutely have to, but it's going to be an uphill battle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's it's certainly an interesting choice to dual main Marth and Falcon. I, I don't think I've ever seen it. I'm pretty sure that uh, Bart was a Falcon main originally. Yeah, that's true. I, I remember like literally when I said I was playing 10, been 10 playing, playing for 10 years, I met it. Like, <laughs> I remember like in 06 maybe. I think it was. I went to a tournament in Vancouver, and Bart wow. was there. Wow! Did you see that shot up smash? And it killed yeah. him like 88% after the hits. That was like the perfect option. That was insane. Nice dash dance. Ooh. Good option to swap dodge right there. And like I'm seeing Bart do a lot of just like halfway committing and then waiting for Jordova to go in for the punish. Yeah. And then he's just like jumps and goes swipe, swipe, swipe. I'm gonna zone you out. Zone you out. He's Bart is definitely a, a pretty patient player. Yeah, for sure. Which is a really good quality to have, especially on spaces. Wow. I actually I feel like he has a really good mix of patience and aggression. Yeah. In his play style. Like right, right there, he was just kind of covering space, and then he'll go in. Yeah, he'll go in with a dash attack, mix it up pretty well. Yeah, good weight. Oh, jeez, he went for this style. It's like, dang, too greedy, too greedy. Yeah. Oh, that's that's gonna get punished. Oh my god, that was rough. <laughs> do not, do not get board smashed. This is Yoshi's, you don't come back from it. Oh man. Bar's in a pretty good position here. He kind of gives up that edge guard. But he, I mean, he's still on the offense, but. Oh. <laughs> Even without the air dodge, though, I think he may have missed. Just like by, by a small amount. Oh, that, that, that up throw would normally get you so much, but since he was on the edge of the platform, he couldn't follow up. Hmm. Is that it? Are these all three out of five? They're all three out of five. Oh, nice. Yeah. I guess so. I think, well, yeah, they're in losers, but I I know winners was three out of five. Mm. But I don't know. They're, pl they're playing three out of five, so... so wh where do you think he should go for? What stage should he go to? Jordova, I mean, like, I'm thinking, no, oh, okay, he's going to go there. I don't know. There's, like... Normally a fox would be like, I want to go to stadium, stadium, stadium. But there's the fact that it's a mostly flat stage does do a lot for Falcon. Yeah, I, th I think like Falcon and Marth are both pretty good on stadium. As far as like non-spacey characters go, they're probably the two best. Yeah, and I mean like I, I think that like 
Fox still probably has the advantage on Stadium versus Falcon. Yeah. But I mean, when you're Fox and you can just say, hey, you know, I'll pick this stage instead of Stadium and have a, big, a bigger advantage, why not? Yeah, yeah, that's very true. I doing some work with those back airs. Yeah, he's stuffing his wow. Beautiful. Good spacing on that. I love that. So many other foxes, like they, they'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go for another back air. Just like keep shuffling those aerials, get the shine, snuff some out in one shot. Yeah, that that was definitely the right choice. A little bit of a flood there. Didn't get a uh, wave shine out of his out of that. Ooh. Yep. So Bart? Oh jeez. Oh Robert my saw. gosh. Oh, no, he ran right into it. Alright, nice. Tilt. The thing about that stomp is it's such a double-edged sword. It's got so much wind-up that people know when it's coming, and even if they don't know, they can react to it. Mm -hmm. They can hop up with the nair, they can get that up tilt in there or something like that. But if you hit with it, then you're just you're set up for a zero to death. Yeah. Oh, that was really good spacing. Alright, I guess after this match, I'll probably drop out and play my tournament match. Yeah. The number the number of commentators that aren't in the tournament are dwindling pretty hard right now. Yeah. Just gonna be people constantly switching out. Uh, Jordova... Yeah, he's keeping he, it even. Yeah, he's keeping it even. Respectable. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah, this is looking good. It's a nice string he's got here. He... Oh, bar just kind of reversals. Oh, dang. Oh, call out right there. He's got an edge guard opportunity. Keeps him off of the back air. Another back air. He's, he's going really high. Yeah, I, I think what he really wanted to do initially was just get him with a shine, mm -hmm. but he was afraid of the, the knee. Yeah, it's hard to outspace Falcon's aerials with shine. And it's hard to know like if Falcon's going to be like, I want to come in with a knee, or I, I want to come in quicker and not with the knee. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a good option. Oh, and he, oh. he could have held ledge, I think, but... Yeah, he could have. In the heat of the moment, it's hard to make that judgment call. Yeah, and the thing is, also with Fox, there's... There's just, like, this thing, like, I'm a Fox player, I gotta move. I gotta keep on moving and keep on going fast. Yeah, it's, it's a big weakness in some players. Me, me included. I'm really bad at waiting when I need to. I'm always pressing buttons. Yeah, I'm seeing that, like, with a lot of players, actually, kind of... That have like started playing like in the last couple of years actually, you know it's it's present in some of like the, some of the older players, but it's it's really noticeable in all the newer players too, because mm. they just I don't know they want to go fast, they, they all want to go super fast. All right, we got a last start game, pretty dang even. I think though even if uh, if Jordova is to take this one, he's still going to be behind a counter picks, which is probably going to be ultimately lead to him uh, losing the set. Just, uh, just a little prediction. It's a little far out there. Not super accurate, but that's what I think is going to happen. That's if he wins this match. Wow! Oh, that nice shield pressure. Nice pressure. And that's nice going to do it, dude. Coverage too. Right, so it's two one. All right, I'm going to step out. We can get a new commentator. All right. I'm going to be joined on the mic by our tournament host, Connor, pizza delivery guy, Contra, Bombadil, I don't know what his name is anymore. The name is Contra. It's pizza delivery boy, number oh, five. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I entered that so that people couldn't be like, oh, what's this result? Here, I, I don't understand how you got, you went 0-2. <laughs> I didn't even enter singles though, so. Oh. I was going to play all Mario. It was going to be great. going to be awesome. I didn't singles. My singles were not great. Oh, that's too bad. Actually, it was was great. Never mind. I went from <laughs> not great. I was just like, we're like, okay, no, no. I lost to Brick and I lost to Steven. Oh my wow. fucking god! Destroy. Good job. Good show. Good show. So Bart, I've noticed, is really good at the counter pick game. It's okay. See, this is uh, like what me and Alan were talking about. That it's just like a, it's a unique dual main to have, Marth yeah. and Falcon, and there's a really good reason for it too. Yeah, and this, absolutely. This is one of the great reasons to have a Marth secondary or a Falcon secondary. And with, I mean, like with Bart, you never really know. Balloon is who we're talking about. Yeah. With Balloon, you never really know. Oh no. Which one he's maining at the moment? It's just kind of whichever one he's, he starts using. I more. think I think he's fully a dual main at this point. 
Like, he plays both characters so well in tournament and, and has good results with both. Yeah. I know, I, I do see him playing more Marth, but I just think because Marth's just a straight up better character. Yeah, and there's a lot of foxes and it's a better matchup. Yeah. Man, that is not a good matchup for Falcon. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit annoying. Like it is. I mean, it's it's definitely beatable for sure. But oh, good shine! That was he got out of the chain grab. That was amazing. Yeah, it's like it's it's beatable for sure. But it's hard. Oh, and yeah, like this isn't like I I mentioned this a thousand times before, but why not mention it again? Like it's Marth on Final Destination versus a Fox is not a death sentence anymore. Oh no, absolutely uh, not. Thanks mostly to Leffen actually for developing a counter strategy. This is, uh, people have a much easier time yeah. with this matchup. All you need to do is not get grabbed. <laughs> Don't get grabbed. And the thing is, you do have superior mobility as Fox, and Marth's got the grab range to even oh, it out, no. though. So, I mean, they're, they're basically 50-50 on their mobility and their ability to grab each other. Oh. Oof. Oh, that's rough. But, yeah. Drone is actually so good. Actually what? So good. He is, he is play good. Uh, we were talking about... How he's always just been kind of just sitting below in the shadows. Yeah. Just below the PR players. Yeah, but like, he's good. Ooh, Phantom hit in air. What a good game. Fishing for those down tilts. He's not going to find anything, though. They're both playing so safe. Just like so carefully about their, with their approaches. Oh, that was good. Good wave dash back. Oh, no. Is oh, that well, Oh, no. That's a good air dodge. I like that air dodge, actually. Okay. <laughs> oh, barely okay. gets that up smash okay, out. This is not over yet. Jordan can definitely take this. Uh, it's pretty close to over, but uh, there's the chance. And see, there's <laughs> oh, this no. problem. He keeps he's jumping. And oh, Bart called him on it, and that's going right. to be it. That's 3-1. Close 3-1, though. Yeah. Pretty good. Jordan, uh, definitely a solid player. Coming up on stream. Hang on just a second. Iceman. Uh, where's Bladewise? You guys play on stream. Ice Man and Bladewise on stream. Come up on stream. Okay. All right, coming up next on stream is uh, Ice Man versus Bladewise in winners semis. So that's gonna be interesting. They've played a couple times. They played a drop zone.